Good morning, everyone. I hope that you are warm wherever you're at. It's very cold here this morning. So um, I just hope that your first Sunday of Lent is spent celebrating. And I hope your first week um, or half week into the Lent season is going well. And um, this morning, my topic is on medication. We all have something going on, whether it's allergies, flu, COVID, strep, um, uh, more severe diseases, cancer, um, heart disease, just a, the list goes on and on. So, I want to speak to you about medicine. Um, first of all, um, there are many forms of medicine. And a lot of people only think that uh, going to the doctor and getting a bunch of prescriptions is the only way. I've been doing um, natural healing for five years now. And it is amazing the difference. How quickly you get over things and um, how it heals other things that you don't have to be on medication for life like doctors try to make you be. But I won't get on my soapbox about that. We have more uh, important issues to um, speak about. The world is a sick place in many different ways. Mentally, mental illness is, is so rampant and and a lot of that is because people are not spiritually um, mature and they don't know the Lord. And that is our job to help them because the devil is, is the one that uses your mind to kill, steal, and destroy. I've been there. I know. Get the help. And if you see someone that needs the help, help them get help. There's the physical things that we just talked about. There's actions and feelings. Sometimes we act out of hurt and um, we get all up in our feelings and it causes other health problems. And, it, and then we are spiritually sick. And there is so much of that going on in the world. Even people that are Christians are spiritually sick because they're not getting in the Bible and they're not studying it. So those are the things we're going to talk about today. What is ailing you? Is it mental, physical, hurt feelings, or um, are you mad at God about something? I highly, highly recommend you not be mad at God. He didn't do, he didn't do this to you. I know that there are people in my life that are mad at God because uh, they lost someone. Well, we're all on loan. Everything and everyone belongs to God and he can take them back or take it back or whatever at any time. And we are still to thank and praise him and uh, because everything is a blessing and a gift from God whether you're a believer or not. So, um, how do we get our hearts, our souls, and our minds right biblically, spiritually maturity? And that is, you've got to get in the Bible each day, Google whatever is, is happening to you. If you're grieving a loss, Look up scriptures on grief, meditate, pray on them, read them over and over until it gets in you and you get that grasp, you get that healing that you need. The Bible has all the answers. And um, in James 5, 13 through 15, is anyone among you suffering? He must pray as is anyone joyful? He is to sing the praises of God. Is anyone among you sick? He must call for the elders, the spiritual leaders of the church, and they are to pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. 
And the prayer of faith will restore the one who is sick and the Lord will rise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Repentance is a huge way of healing your soul. It is a great medicine, the, the act of forgiveness after repentance that the Lord gives us that heals things inside of us that we didn't even know was broken sometimes. And, and, and if you pray to God to help you with something and he shows you, it may be something you didn't even know was hurting you. So always be receptive to what the Lord is showing you and teaching you and guiding you. Jesus is the great healer and redeemer of our hearts, our souls, and our minds, and of our health. He has not gotten out of the miracle business, the healing business, the blessing business. We've become bratty, ungrateful people that just expect him to, you know, do what we want, when we want, and how we want it. That's not how God operates. And once you realize that, that's when you're spiritually maturing. And that is when you learn it is better to wait on him than to pitch a fit and complain. Complaining cancels out your blessings. So stop doing it. And that's a really good thing to focus on during Lent. Each day when you want to complain, repent of that. In Mark 2, verse 17, when Jesus heard this, he said to them, those who are healthy have no need of a phys physician, but only those who are sick. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners who recognize their sin and humbly seek forgiveness. We can't be forgiven if we don't recognize what we're doing is sin. And you need to reconcile that bill every night when you go to bed. And yes, the Lord is the great physician and he is the doctor, but he, want, he has to have you repent specifically. He has to, to, you have to pray and ask specifically what you need him to do. And then wait for his answers and his healing. And um, we take specific medicines or go to specialists when we have certain problems. That is why the Bible, you need to look up, pray on, and read scriptures on everything. If you're struggling with anger, which I have in the in recent months, uh, sickness, um, loss whatever it is financial or you have a child that you know may be going through something every answer is in the bible and god is the one you need to take it to um and it does have the cures for your problems and a lot of time it's not god that needs to do it it's you you need to be proactive and worrying about your problems or complaining about your problems have never solved any. It only creates more. So stop worrying. Worrying is like sitting in a rocking chair. You're doing something, but you're not getting anywhere. And so get out and be proactive. And um, we can't expect God to just do everything for us we have to be proactive. We have to get up off of our rear ends and do something to show him I am worthy. I am serious about wanting to heal whatever it is that is, is going on. And so um, in Mark 4.24, then he said to them, pay attention to what you hear by your own standards of measurement. That is to the extent that you study spiritually, 
spiritual truth and apply godly wisdom, it will be measured to you and you will be given even greater ability to respond. He wants to abundantly bless us. He wants us to have a joyful, wonderful life, but we just can't sit here and just expect it to just show up at the door. We have to get out and be proactive. That's why I said, get in the Bible. That is the best way to counteract whatever is happening. When you're grieving, depressed, hurting, suffering, helping someone else when you're going through something not only helps shift your focus off yourself, but God sees that you are being proactive and he will heal you and bless you abundantly. It shifts your focus. So each day, instead of complaining, instead of griping, do something for someone else. Stop thinking of only yourself. And whatever you are going through, turn it over to God. Get into scripture. If you don't do these things and you sit in your pity party and you complain and you allow the depression to overtake you and your anger to overtake you and your bitterness that is the gateway for satan to come in and kill steal and destroy you and that is what he loves the most if you're going through something the quicker that you start walking and 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 communicating with God and and helping other people and getting back out there, that upsets Satan so much. I never want him to win another battle in my life. I work every day trying to be the best person I can be, the best Christ representative to help others spiritually mature and help them through whatever they're going through. That is our job as Christians. Don't be a negative because the words that come out of your mouth can either help and heal or they can hurt. Make sure you're very careful and guarded with your words. God is still in the healing and the restoration business. He's still in the miracle business. He's still in the blessing business. So whatever it is that you are suffering from, take it to the Lord, get into the scripture and pray, pray, pray and be proactive. Whatever is ailing you, there is a solution. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this message. We thank you for your blessings, your healing, and most of all, your son, Jesus Christ, who went to the cross. And that is the season that we're in to become stronger, more positive Christ representatives for you. Dear Lord, help us to repent, to grow spiritually mature and lean on your word and trust and walk in faith. Dear Lord, as we always ask for you to keep a hedge of protection around all of us and our, our loved ones keeping us happy, healthy, and safe from anything or anyone that can harm us. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Whatever you do this week, if something is bothering you, go straight to prayer and the Bible. Until we meet again, God bless each and every one of you.